Hey guys, Chris here again. Uh, another trailer reaction for you guys. Um, it was a bit lengthier than the normal trailers because uh, the video I'm reacting to is actually about seven minutes long. Um, it's Nintendo's trailer for the Nintendo Labo Toy Con 4, which is a VR kit. Um, when they first announced it, there's no indication of what the games are going to be like, no indication of what um, how it was going to work, really. So. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see what they show off and see if they show off any of the games in this. And yeah, I'm intrigued to get into this. Because I do enjoy that bow and I do like it, but it's just I hope it's not, I hope the VR game and kit isn't going to be a bit of a novelty. But anyway, with all that said, here we go. Yes, yeah, so that's the Labo VR headset. Okay. Nintendo that's cool. VR kit. So here's all handheld, which is kind of a bit meh. Switch system. Gaze into the ToyCon VR goggles. No matter where you look, a virtual environment awaits. That's that is cool. The magic of VR. Making your ToyCon creations is where the fun starts. I could, I would kind of pre prefer a uh, headband to hold it on. Them to one of the other creations you can build. Yeah, so they're all connected. Right First up, the Toy Con. Blaster, okay. Pull back the slide to find the blaster. Take aim and fire away. Space aliens. Yeah, it's a shit map game. From above. To the right, no matter where they are, take them out. Use the homing function to walk onto distant enemies. Is it cool? Fair enough. Just remember, the battle ain't over till you go head to head with the boss. In this game, you can face off against another player. Use the blaster to suck up fruit and then shoot it into a hippo's mouth. If you manage to feed one, the happy hippo will swim to your side of the arena. Cause a hungry hippo kind of thing. Take turns with the toy con blaster and see who can win the hearts of the biggest horde of hippos in the game. Fair enough. This is the weird one. Okay, so that looks a little bit crazy, that wind pedal. So I just use both. This one is the toy con This is the weird one. Use its trunk to paint 3D pictures that hang in thin air. Okay. You can even grab your creations and move them around. There's an eraser, shape tools, effect pens, and even lighting effects. Use everything at your disposal to craft some true masterpieces. Looks interesting. 
I don't know, it could be any annoying, but a lot of fun. That's cool. Find your subject, zoom in, and snap. With Toycon camera, taking underwater pictures in a virtual ocean is easy. And a cute little creature relaxes. Oh, the guy from the house is back. There are challenges to tackle too. Ain't always easy making memories. Remember, you can look in any direction. And you never know what you'll find. It's cool, they're using some of the bits from the original variety kit. The art plaza is loaded with 64 more bite sized games and experiences. Okay, so lots of mini games. 64! Abduct stuff as a UFO? Drive a virtual car? Rock out? Even control gravity, all in VR. For some games, you just need Joy Con controllers. For others, you'll use your different Toy Con creations. Guess what? The that is cool. Lambo VR kit lets you make your own VR games and experiences too. That's where our brand new tool, oh, the garage. VR, comes in. When you do this, what should happen? Here, programming is as simple as linking together inputs and outputs. For example, you can set up a mannequin and then decide what it should do. Choose its size and more. Even control your character freely. That's why that guy really does come to his own. Uh, the, the garage mode, you can do so much stuff with it. You've got a game. Not bad. You could make a high speed tuna racer, a lunar rover, a mechanical clock. So, literally, there's so much you can do with these kind of things. Even an epic quest for sushi. They're your games. That's a first person shooter. That's awesome. I'm so tall whether to get this or not. It does look great. Simple, friendly, fun. <clears throat> Nintendo Labo VR Kit. There's also a Nintendo Labo VR Kit starter set and blaster. That's a great entry point into the world of Nintendo Labo VR. The starter set includes the Nintendo Switch software, plus all the parts to build on VR goggles and Toy Con Blaster. It's out on the 12th of April. Oh, so torn whether to get that or not. Um, the VR kit looks a lot better than I thought it would, to be fair. Um, the games, I think, will be more hit and miss, but there does look to be some fun stuff in there, which is cool. But um, the garage mode, I think, it was going to be incredible. Like, that's how I'm doing first-person shooter there, by the looks of it. Um, so, yeah, that would be something just cool to have a, have a play around with. But... Um, you have to wait and see. I might see how the uh, how the price does, and if it goes down at all, maybe get in a sale. But yeah, something def I'm definitely got my eye on, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye on the reviews and things like that. But what do you guys think of uh, Labo VR? Um, is it intriguing? Do you think it's just going to be a bit of a novelty? Um, my personal opinion from what I've the experience I've had with Labo is a lot of fun. Um, the games get my attention a lot longer than I expected them to, which is good. But I do understand why some people do see him as a bit of a gimmick, perhaps. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on the VR kit, see how it does. And I will possibly try and pick one up, but um, it's not guarantee I'll get it. Straight away, but, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're interested in it. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Until next time, speak to you soon.